a very successful restaurant, and um, what are the chances I can duplicate another location, and how should I go about it? Here's what's interesting about franchising. See, back in the day, we used to have a, a document called a UFOC. And what the UFOC basically had to have was all the legal documents and the disclaimers. But really, what it kind of said is, we have a business model that's successful. But just because our business model is successful doesn't mean yours will be, even if it's exact. Okay? Well, but think about that. I don't know if I need a UFOC to say that. Because whether you have a franchise or an independent, or all corporate stores, just because something works in Des Moines, Iowa, does not mean it's going to work in Birmingham, Alabama. Just because it works in Los Angeles, doesn't mean it'll work in Boston. But a lot of those systems carry over, whether it be menus, what have you. You have the core items you need, but you need to be able to duplicate them with the tweaks for the marketplace. Most people don't realize this, but there are plenty of national pizza chains that have a different flavor profile based on the part of the country they're in. Because what they know is, this is what sells in this part of the country, this is what sells in this part of the country. Well, so to answer your question, there is no guarantee of success but you certainly want to take the pieces that you know will transfer and you want to build a system around it so you can duplicate it. You also want to be free-flowing enough to allow change to match the marketplace. If you do that and you're passionate about making money in the first location, you take that passion to the second location, chances are pretty good you're going to make money. But one thing I would also say is there's a thing called footprint. And it's all in how you build a footprint of a restaurant company. If I build my first location in San Francisco and I take and say, oh, I'm good at what I do and I'm going to put my second location in Miami, the footprint is so far apart you won't be able to manage both, both locations very well. So keep the footprint tight so that you can manage both locations using the same system. We see it a lot when a founder of a concept hands down the concept to their kids. The kids don't have the same passion and the next thing you know, the restaurant concept belly flops. It doesn't do well. Well, so you got to duplicate it as tightly as you can using the pieces you know that will work. But be flexible enough to change. <laughs>